My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the T's study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll solve the problem that you will find on page number. 73. Problem number 1 on page number 73. We'll do problem number 1 and 2 today. Uh, at least problem number 1. These are word problems. There aren't too many of there aren't there aren't too many word problems in the sixth edition. So if you're interested in getting more practice dealing with the word problems, the sort of word problems that you are likely to encounter on the exam, I would encourage you to watch these days 26 through 30, which are the problems we did from the previous edition, the 5th edition. We have solved every single problem that appeared in the 5th edition. You will find the solutions to all of the math problems from the 5th edition from day number 1 to 80. T is 5th edition, day 1 to 80. 26 to 30 is when we solve the word problems. Let's get going. Okay, enough said. It's always a good idea to get some extra practice. Why not? You're not going to get yourself ready by just doing 2 or 3 problems. It says it says six inch square pavers, six inch square pavers are used to completely surround surround what I believe it begins with the U to completely surround flower bed. flower garden that is 12 feet by 3 feet the question simply is how many pavers are needed you're going to surround the entire flower garden which we are told is 3 by 12, 3 feet by 12 feet, and the pavers come in the size of 6 inches. They are square pavers, 6 inches by 6 inches. How many do I need to buy? I'm going to go to the uh, store, I'm going to go to the gardening store, I'm going to buy myself some pavers. I need to know how many I should buy so I can surround my garden completely with these pavers. Let's draw our garden, shall we? It's 12 feet by 3 feet, so here's our garden. This is 12 feet from here to here and this is 3 feet now I shouldn't have done what I just did here because I'm going to have to erase it now in a second I wasn't too bright this is our garden but we want to put a border around it the border is going to look like this we're going to put pavers around it we're going to put pavers around it the tricky part here is to understand these four corners these four corners is what we need to understand Paper come, pavers come in a size of six square six, six square inches each one of this each one of this is six inches this is six inches by six inches this is six inches by six inches this is another six these are pavers that are sitting in the corner six inches by six inches six inches by six inches so we know we need to buy four of those how many more do I need to fill out this area? That's the part we need to understand. This is three feet from here, from here to here is three feet. Well, if each one of them is only six inches, to get three feet, how many are you going to need? Six inches, which means we need two of them to go the distance of one foot. We have three feet, so we need to, we're going to need. This is six, six feet, six, three feet are going to require six pavers to go from here to here because each paver is half a foot. Similarly, we're going to need six of them here. From here to here is three feet again. So we have six pavers here, six pavers here. Similarly, here we go from here to here. We are told is 12 feet. Was it 12 feet? Yes, 12 feet. 12 feet are going to require, this is implies that we need 24 pavers. 
24 papers here, 24 papers here. There you go, we are done. All we have to do now is to add up all the figures. I'm looking at a different color marker here. All we have to do is add up how many we need. We need 24 on this side, 24 on this side, 6 papers on this side, 6 papers on that side, and don't forget these 4 here. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The 4 that are going to sit in the corner. And there's your answer. There is our answer. So we're going to need 24 and 24. So it's 24 plus 6 here. And we need 2 of these, 24 times 2, 6 times 2. And if you don't like it that way, if you don't want to be too fancy, just add them up. 24 plus 24, 6 plus 6, 24 plus 24, 6, and 6, 6 right here, 6 right there, and 4 in the 4 corners. These are the 4 corners. There's your answer. Whatever that happens to be, that's our answer. 6 plus 4 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 4 is 24, 4 carry 2, 2, 4, 6, looks like 64 papers. So this is one way we could have done the problem. Another way we could have done the problem, which is a more straightforward way, which is a more straightforward way, is to understand the perimeter of the outside part, not the perimeter of the flower bed itself. This is the this is the flower bed here, this is the flower garden. We are not interested in the perimeter of this guy. In order to figure out how many papers we need, we need to understand the perimeter of the outside guy. Let me do it, instead of erasing everything, let me do it on the top, the different way. So, we are going to redraw this thing here. This is the inside guy, this is, this is our garden here, this is the garden. And we are going to put papers, we are going to put papers and now it's going to look like this. And because from here, from here to here is 3 feet, just like here, from here to here is 3 feet, right here. But by the time we add the 6 inches here and 6 inches there, this distance from here to here is now 4 feet. Because we have 6 inches there and 6 inches there. Similarly, from here to here, this distance is 12 feet, right here. 12 feet from here to here. But the distance from here to here, by the time we add 6 inches, 6 inches this way and 6 inches that way, 6 inches, 6 inches is 1 foot, it's not 12 feet anymore, it is 13 feet. It is 13 feet. Now watch what happens. Ah, I made a mistake myself. I shouldn't have gone that route. I made a mistake myself. Do you see the mistake I made here? The mistake I made is that when I, when I went from here to here 13 feet, and when we went from here to here 4 feet, I'm double counting this guy. This corner is double counted here. This is wrong. This is not, we no longer, when we, when we cover that 4 feet from here to here, this corner is already taken care of, this corner is already taken care of, that's how we got the 4 feet. Now we only have to go from here to here, from here to here. We don't have to cover, we don't have to worry about this corner, this corner is already taken care of. When we go from here to here, when we go from here to here 4 feet, this, this, this corner and this corner is already taken care of in their 4 feet. We only have to worry about the 12 feet here. 12 feet here and 12 feet here. So, what's the perimeter of this guy? From here to here we have... We have, we have 4 feet and we have 2 of them. 4 feet here and 4 feet here. That's 8 feet. 4 times 2, that's 8 feet. And here we have 12 feet and 12 feet. Again, 12 times 2, that's 24 plus 8, 24 plus 8, how much is 24 plus 8? 24 plus 10 would have been 34, this is 32 feet. And 32 feet, one more time I'm going to show you what 32 feet is here. This is 4 feet, and this is 4 feet. That's where we're getting the 4 times 2. And then this is 12 feet, and this is 12 feet. That's where we're getting 2 times 12. We have 32 feet, and since Papers are only available in the sizes of 6 square inches uh, and 6 a square inch. We need 2 of them to cover the distance of 1 foot. 32, 32 feet will require 64 papers. Because 32, 32 times 2 is 64. I think we made it a bit too complicated than it needed to be. Anyway, we need 64 papers. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.